internationally agreed culturally sensitive guidelines for such support. It will be especially important that those liaising with families understand the unique needs of those on the autistic spectrum, for example, in their interactions with families. Currently, home educators report a range of experiences of local authorities, from the collaborative to the hostile, a bit of a postcode lottery. As more and more schools academize, there is a danger that local authority provision may wither on the vine and the aspirations of the bill will be disappointed. The preservation of that support will be crucial to ensure the best outcome for all children in elective home education. Lucas. But it must be accompanied by mandatory checks to provide assurances that children are safe and re receiving a quality education. I understand there is a legal obligation that parents must ensure that their child receives efficient full-time education suitable to the child's age and ability, including in the right format, particularly for those with special educational needs. And local authorities have a legal duty to establish that every child in the area is receiving a suitable education. However, how effectively is this happening? Does the government have any evidence of how many inquiries local authorities have made and then followed them up? While I respect parental wishes on how to educate their children, and many parents will be providing a stimulating and stay safe environment, and will be acting in the best interests of their children. However, this is not always the case, which will lead to lifelong barriers and affect life chances. My Lords, when children are not in education and homeschooled without oversight, they become invisible and vulnerable to various risks, such as domestic abuse, sexual abuse, female genital mutilation, poor mental health, and forced marriage, and so on. I asked the previous Education Minister, then Noble Lady Barron, about this, and she provided a detailed written response back in February 2024, and I will use some of the data contained in that letter to make some of my points. She provided the elective home education data, which showed that in 2016, the numbers were 37,500. Since then, the numbers have been increasing every year, and by 2023, they had rocketed to 126,100, and the, the numbers may well be higher, as already been highlighted. This is a rise of 236%, if I've got my maths right. Um, the proportion of children um, increases as they grow older, uh, one third being in the year groups 10 and 11, which is 14 and 15 year olds. Children from mi minority ethnic backgrounds are overrepresented. The ethnicity was as follows 26 for 26% of the ethnicity was unknown. 51% were white British, 23% were from minority ethnic backgrounds. The 23% is an overrepresentation if you consider that the minority ethnic population is 18%. However, if you then consider the proportions of the data that's unknown, assuming that the unknowns follow a similar trend, then it means that the proportion of minority ethnic children in elective home education is more likely to be 30%. So I therefore welcome the recording of protected characteristics in, in, in the bill. My Lords, we cannot ignore these trends of rising numbers of the older ch children and the high numbers of minority ethnic children. Is the government concerned about these trends? Well, they should be. I had also inquired about the reasons for home education in my letter to Noble Lady Baron, and she shared that 35% of the children, for them, the reason was unknown or the parents did not give a reason. So will the government tackle the drivers of elective home education? Perhaps the parents have no choice because the schools are not meeting the needs of the children. And perhaps even pressurizing the, the parents to take the children out of school. I would therefore like to finish by asking the noble lady, the minister, whether the government will support this bill or incorporate the recommendations into its own future children and wellbeing bill. The noble Lord, Lord Story has...